Hello, Mitch and Pilar. You're awesome. Clearwater, Northern Ireland, Daphne, Alabama. Say hello to Pastor Kilpatrick for me. St. Louis, Missouri, Houston, Cary, North Carolina, D.C., South Africa. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Crazy Favor from Bristol. Thanks, Carol. Northern California, you're hardcore. California, I'll be with you. Two locations this month. Hello, Portugal. They pull up my itinerary so I can share it with you later. Sandra Bell, good morning. V. Cody, good morning. Carol, Vivian, good morning. Turlock, yes, I'll be in Turlock and also in Lancaster. Houston, Jacksonville, good morning. So I wait in the stairs. Listen, share this with your friends, invite your followers. And I wait in I've been praying so much my voice sounds scratchy, but I'm not sick. Don't prophesy that over me. Praise God. Mega rising up. Come on. Radically positioning. I like it. When you said my I like it. Good morning, Georgia. When I heard your voice. Pittsburgh. New York. Good morning. Hello, Benjamin. When I heard your voice. When you said serenading the Lord. And I heard your voice, my heart, in the middle of the night. Jesus. In the middle of the night. Good afternoon, South Africa. In the middle Atlanta, of the not night. sure when, V. My heart, in the earth. Somebody, hello, Sweden. Remind me somebody to share my itinerary for October. I canceled some things to focus on the mega payback campaign. Can't be everywhere at once. Prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. It's time to get cranked up. Hello, John Broderick. Alabama. Pauline UK. Good morning. Good morning, Canada. We're going to get started here. 30 seconds. Share, invite. Let's get it going. Hello, Kelly Bryant. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. God is good. God is good all the time. Today's devotion titled, Think About What Jesus has done for you. Think about it. Just stop and think about it. Here's what I heard the Lord say. Stop and think about what Jesus, your beautiful Savior, has done for you. He hung on a cross, naked, with nails in his hands and feet, bleeding, mocked, despised of men to pay the price for your sins. He did it all for you because he loves you with a passion. He did it hoping to win your love, says God. When he won your heart, he gave you his name, his word, his authority, his eternal life, his mind, and his spirit. There's nothing Jesus would not do for you, says God. He wanted me to tell you that today, <laughs> and he wants you to remember it every day. Amen. God is good. Praise God. Today's scripture references Hebrews 12, chapter uh, verses 2 through 3, Romans 3 and 25, and Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through through 12. Read the scriptures. God is good. It builds your faith. Today's prayer starter. Thank you for redeeming me, forgiving me, and making known to me the mystery of your will according to your good pleasure. Thank you for blessing me with every spiritual blessing. Help me to walk in the fullness of what Christ did for me. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, this morning. You are the most magnificent, radical, holy God. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are all-powerful. Your love never ends. Your love never fails. Your 
love never compromises. Your love never draws back. Your love, ne- oh Jesus, we thank you for your great love with which you've loved us. We thank you for the comfort with which you comfort us. We thank you for the courage with which you encourage us. We thank you, God. We're grateful for you, Jesus. There is no other God like you. You are mighty. You are awesome. You are holy. You are mighty. You are awesome. You are holy. You are a radical God, and you've given us radical favor. Yes, I hear the Lord say, I'm giving you radical favor for this next season of your life. Even as you've been praying crazy favor, I'm giving you a step above the crazy favor, and I'm taking you to radical favor, says God, because I am a radical God, and I have radical plans for you, and you need radical favor to to, to accomplish that which I've called you to. My radical grace is sufficient for you, but I've opened doors of opportunity for you, and divine connections are coming your way and the radical favor that rests upon your life will give you the keys to not only unlock the door but walk through it with a confidence and a courage knowing that I have ordered your steps says God understand and know that I am ordering your steps and even when it seems you've make a you've made a misstep says God you've not misstepped you've just learned a lesson don't look at it as a mistake look at it as a lesson don't let the enemy condemn you let me encourage you don't let the enemy tell you that you'll never recover from the misstep. Let me teach you because I am your teacher, says God. The Holy Spirit is on the inside of you to teach you, says God. So don't look at things as failures and mistakes and missteps. Look at them as learning lessons and stepping stones because I work all things together for good to those who love me and are called according to my purpose. And there's a radical purpose on your life because I formed you in your mother's womb. I had a call on you even from that time before you even knew me, before you even knew your own name before you knew your mother and your father before you knew anything my call and my purpose and my destiny was upon you so stop talking about all the mistakes you've made yes they were mistakes but reframe how you look at things says God reframe it reframe it reframe it stop calling it a mistake and start calling it a a lesson learned stop calling it a failure and start calling it a stepping stone begin to speak with words of positivity because I am a radically positive God I see the end from the beginning. I see your end from the beginning, says God. I see it. I see it. I see it. And my thoughts towards you, they're positive. They're not negative. So allow your thoughts about yourself to be positive, says God, not negative. Allow your thoughts about your circumstances be positive, not negative. Don't allow witchcraft to make a mountain out of a molehill, says God. Don't let let the enemy magnify things that they become larger than life because the life in you is larger than the enemy's plans against you. I said the life, the life, the life, the life, the life, the life, the life. Oh, God is wanting to speak to our hearts today. Greater is, listen, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Greater is the life that is in you than the death assignments coming at you. Greater is the hope that is in you than the hopelessness trying to discourage you. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Be encouraged. Somebody just needs to be encouraged today. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for radical courage. Radical, Lord, let radical Radical courage arise in our hearts to run to the battle line, to face every giant that stands in the way between us and your will. God, would you help us this morning to embrace the radical courage that dwells on the inside of us because your Holy Spirit, he's a radical comforter. He's a radical intercessor. He's a radical advocate for us. He's a radical standby. He's a radical, oh Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your love never fails because it's radical. It's extreme. It's over the top. It's magnanimous. It's gracious. It's overflowing. It's super abundant. We thank you, Lord, that your radical love never fails and you've got our backs. You've got, Lord wants you to know, I've got your back. 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 Just trust me, says God. Just trust me. Would you just trust me? Would you just, tr- would you just lean into me? Would you just trust me? Would you just fall back into my arms? Ask God. Would you just do it? Would you just take that leap of faith, says the Lord? Would you just go for it? Would you just have radical courage to follow through on the radical visions and the radical dreams that I've given you, says God? Would you just do it? Would you just decide in your heart right now to stop seeing things through the eyes of defeat and failure and past mistakes and hurts and wounds and betrayals and this and that and the other? Would you just begin to decide to see things through my eyes? Because I will show you my perspective if you ask me. I will give you clarity if you 
you ask me. I will show you things to come if you ask me. I won't leave you hanging, says God. I won't leave you hanging. I won't leave you hanging, says God. I won't leave you hanging. I won't leave you hanging in the wind. I will, I, but I will pour out my spirit upon you and I will empower you to take a radical step forward, to take a radical leap into the deep end. Oh, Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel a radical anointing this morning. Oh, I say that mountain that's standing in your way. I demolish it with the radical faith. And come on, just demolish it. I just see a big hammer. Pow! Just to crack in that thing as if it were just an ice cube. That mountain. Oh, that mountain that seems to be opposing you. Listen, that mountain that is standing in your way. That mountain that is stressing you out. That mountain that is discouraging your heart. I saw it just like an ice cube and it's melting. It's melting. I saw a big hammer come down and it's just cr- it's like crushed ice. It's like that mountain is like crushed ice and it's melting. It's like crushed ice. The mountains are removed and they're cast into the sea. They're melting. They're melting. Listen, those mountains are melting. They're melting. They melt when you speak to them because the fire that's on your tongue, the fire of God that's in your mouth, that holy anointing, that radical fervor, that fire, it's in your mouth. And when, listen, when you speak to that mountain, it begins to melt. It begins to melt. I, I just see the hammer of the Lord. I just see the hammer of the Lord and it's crushing that mountain into ice like 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 uh, like, uh, like like crushed ice. It's like crushed ice. How many you know crushed ice melts really fast? Pretty soon. Oh, pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon. That mountain that stood before you is going to be a puddle at your feet. And you're just going to just, just take a little step over. I said, your feet aren't even going to get wet. Your shoes aren't even going to get soggy. That mountain that's been standing in front of you. Oh, it's melting. It's melting. It's melting. It's going to turn into a puddle. Some of you have been crying puddles of tears over the adversity over your life. You've been crying puddles of tears. You've been crying. You've been drowning. You're like David said, I've been drowning my pillow with tears. Like David said, you be, he, here's what the Lord showed me. He, he, this, 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 this mountain is going to melt and it's just going to be a puddle and you're just going to just, just step right over it. Just like a little rain puddle. Just like a little, you're just going to step. Your shoes aren't even going to get wet. You know how sometimes when there's puddles and you got to get out of your car to go into the store and you can't really get around the puddle. You can't make a leap over the puddle so you kind of have to tiptoe through the puddle and then your shoes although they were nice and white and they get a little tainted your shoes and they, they were they were all brand new but your socks now they're wet and you're walking around with wet socks and it's uncomfortable that's not even the case for you you're just going to walk right over that puddle I said mountains melt in Jesus name I say mountains melt in Jesus name mountains melt in Jesus name mountains of oppositions I decree and declare you melt you are crushed you have turned turned into a puddle. We call those things that be not as though they were, just like Abraham. We call those things that be not as though they were. We speak to the mountain. We say melt. We say melt. We say melt. Be crushed by the hammer of the Lord. Oh, I thank you, Lord, that the mountains are puddles and we're just going to step right over it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you're good. You are good. Oh, I like it. 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 You know what I might do you know when you were a kid and your mom said don't get in that puddle you know what I might do I might just jump shoot right right in the middle of the puddle just to splash that water back in the devil's face you know sometimes when you go through a puddle in your car shoot it just like spray somebody accidentally well I'm not doing any accidental spraying today I'm I'm taking that I'm jumping right in that melted mountain puddle and I'm letting it splash up in the devil's face I told you so God is for me who can be against me God is for me who can I don't even care if my socks get wet it'll be worth it I'm just jumping right into that puddle and it's just splashing up in the devil's face why because he wants to threaten us he wants to discourage us he wants to lie to us but the truth is God wins every time the truth is you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you the truth is if God
God be for you, then who can be against you? The truth is, there is no failure in Jesus. Jehovah Nisi is your victory banner. The truth is, come on somebody, the truth is, we must renew our minds with the truth of God. I thank you, Lord. Whatever facts are staring us in the face, our attitude toward our facts will be of faith. Whatever, yes, come on, I'm going to say that again. Whatever facts are staring us in the face, our attitude of faith will defy the facts. It's our attitude the devil's after. It's our words the devil's after. It's our joy the devil's after. It's our hope the devil's after. He does with fear what we, whoa, Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank, we eradicate all fear right now in Jesus' name. Those radical fear assignments that come against us to cause us to not even want to fight. Those radical fear assignments that plague us even in the nighttime hours that cause us to not even want to swing the sword, causes us to just want to, laid out and die, causes us to want to complain and moan and groan, causes us to want to just whine and feel sorry for all those radical fear assignments. I bust you now with the hammer of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the faith bombs. We release faith bombs, radical faith bombs. Hallelujah. Radical faith bombs, radical faith bombs. Ra We're dropping radical faith bombs on the enemy's camp right now in Jesus' name. Radical faith bombs. We've got radical courage. We're going to run in a radical way to the battle line with faith in our mouth saying you know what I slew the bear and I slew the giant and this uncircumcised Philistine he's got nothing on me because my God is bigger my God is greater my God is mightier oh I know the power that lives on the inside of me we've got to confess our way through sometimes the devil wants to bring us down with our confession the enemy wants to tear us down with the words of our own mouth the word weapons we talked about last week cursing our own selves but we break that and we're going to confess our way out of this thing. We're going to fight with our words. We're going to send faith bombs into the enemy's camp. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. The enemy doesn't have a shield of faith. Hallelujah. Come on now. The enemy doesn't have the helmet of salvation. Oh, come on. Let's get this straight. The enemy doesn't have the breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. The enemy doesn't have the shoes of peace. The enemy doesn't have the belt of truth. Hallelujah. The enemy doesn't have these things. The enemy doesn't have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The enemy doesn't have the armor of God. God. Whoa, I've got to write this down. This is good. I'm getting a revelation. I feel an article coming. He doesn't have the armor of God. He doesn't have these things. He doesn't have these things. He wants to strip you of yours. He want, He can't wear them anyway. Don't let the devil strip you of your armor. He can't wear it anyway. It just goes in a pile. It just goes in a heap with all the other defeated Christians who are, have already just put their weapons down. He wants to strip you of your weaponry. He wants to strip you of your armor so that he can attack you all the more. He, but here's the thing. He doesn't have any armor. All he's got is lies. All he's got is smoke. All he's got is mirrors. All he's got is deception. Oh, I thank you, Lord. The enemy, oh, he doesn't have the armor of God. Therefore, when we attack him with our faith, Pam. When we attack him with our faith, with our faith bombs, when we attack him with our faith, with our faith bombs, he's got no defense. Come on now. This is good news. Come on now. This somebody needs to celebrate. When we attack him with our faith bombs, he has no defense against the truth. He's got no defense against the name of Jesus. Come on. He's got no defense. He's got no defense. He's got no defense. All he's got is lies. He's got smoke. He's got mirrors. He's got deceptions. He has no defense against the faith bomb. Hallelujah. Come on. He's got no defense against the faith bomb. Come on. Hallelujah. He's got no, de come on. This is good news. He's got no defense against your faith bombs. How do you release a faith bomb? Let me just pray teach you for a minute. How do you release a faith bomb? Well, your declaration is your faith bomb. Your proclamation is your faith bomb. Your decree is your faith bomb. Your confession, your profession is your faith bomb. Jesus is the high priest of our confession. That word confession means is it's the Greek word homologio. It means to say the same thing as when we say the same thing about ourselves, about our circumstances, about our situations, about our trials and our warfare. When we say the same thing that God is saying, it is a radical faith bomb. And guess what? God's bombs always land where they intend to land. God's word. Oh, come on now. God's word never returns to him void. God's faith bombs never return void, but they hit their target. They accomplish what they're saying. 
sent to do. God's faith bombs, they never return void. They always hit their target. God's faith bombs released through your mouth, they are precise. They are precise. They are. They don't miss their target. They always accomplish their goal. They always blow up the devil's plans. Always. Come on now. Radical decrees. Crazy radical faith. Crazy radical faith. Come on now. Be, be encouraged today. I just want you to be encouraged today. When I was praying, the Lord showed me the people need to be encouraged. You know, it's good to have all these books on rebuilding altars and 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 and, and, and you know the art of prayer and and and, and victory over darkness and glimpses into glory and you know having a clean heart and and things that steal your joy and you know releasing uh, God's ability and and angels on assignment and and growing your faith. It's good to have all those those, those those books are good. They equip us. They're good. I've got a library full of them. They're good. They equip us. It's the meat of the word. It's deep. It's the training aspect. You know what God told me this morning? And this is going to shift part of my ministry. It's going to listen. It's going to shift part of my ministry. It's going to shift part of, of my book writing ministry. It's going to shift partly. You know what? Because people need to be equipped, but they also need massive encouragement. There are so many of you out there that you just, nobody even encourages you. Everybody wants to pull you down. Everybody wants to take things away from you, tell you who you're not, why you can't. You know, people need encouragement. Guess what? I need encouragement. And God knows if I need encouragement, I'm the same as everybody else. You must need encouragement too. You know, there's betrayals that happen. You know, there's backslide, back, back, uh, uh, not backslide, uh, back, uh, blind sides that happen. You know, there's, there's setbacks that happen. Life on its best day is not always easy. Life even on its very best day is not always easy. You know, it's not, Jesus said you'll have tribulation in this world. He said you'll have tribulation in this world, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So I really believe there's many times we do need to be challenged. Sometimes the body of Christ needs a good spanking. We need to be shaken up and waken up. Sometimes we need to be stirred up and we need to be confronted. But you know what? We need, we need equipping. I'm not going to stop doing that, but we need to be encouraged. We need to be encouraged. We need to be encouraged. We need to be encouraged how to how to think right. We need to be told how to think. Sometimes we need to be, be it just needs to be laid out before us. Look, here's what you need to do in this situation. It's still equipping, but it's encouragement too. So I'm still going to do the prophetic training. I'm still doing warfare schools. I'm still doing deliverance classes, dream interpretation. I'm still doing all that. But you know what? God showed me this morning in such a massive way just the, the discouragement that's resting on so many of his people. And I intend to break it. I intend to plow through with some things that will encourage you. It might not be the most popular thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It needs to be. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Radical encouragement. Radical encouragement. Radical encouragement. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This has shifted part of my ministry. I'm going to incorporate more of this. These prayer calls are encouraging. I know they are. They're encouraging. That's why you're on them. Uh, but praise God. It's going to be good. It's going to get uh, better. We're always led by the Holy Spirit. You know, every day on these calls, we're, we're led by the Holy Spirit. If he wants to war, we're going to war. If he want, Listen, if he wants us to repent, we're going to repent. It's not under condemnation. You know, when we have... When we have times on these calls where we repent, it's not, it's not a condemnation. It's to encourage you to get back in line with the Word of God. So listen, be encouraged. Whatever it is you're going through, be encouraged. Radical encouragement. Ra I know what it's like to be discouraged. Praise God. It's one of the main weapons the enemy tries to use against me. And I will rarely voice if I'm discouraged because it's not good to voice things negative all the time. Amen. But radical encouragement, radical breakthrough. Praise God. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, I got something to share with you this morning. Uh, the Lord spoke to me about about something that really encouraged me. I saw it so clearly. Uh, I saw it so clearly. I saw it so clearly. I saw it so clearly. I saw it so just jealous spirits rising against you. And, you know, jealous spirits will discourage you. I want to share this with you in just a, a small teaching uh, in just a minute uh, out of uh, 1 Samuel 17. I want to do a little small teaching just for a few minutes. I hope those things encourage you. Uh, it intends to encourage you. That's it. That's my whole heart with it is, 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 is to encourage you. But I want to remind you, you can sow a seed into the ministry if you feel so led. You know what? You know what? It would encourage me if you did that. Praise God. It would encourage my heart. You know, I, I really feel like this, uh, the building issue, it's already done. It's a done deal. We did a Jericho march on, uh, on Sunday around the building, and there was such a ring of victory. And then, of course, the next day after that Jericho march, uh, the devil just pulled out all the stops to just try 
try to it just try to make it look like everything was falling apart and you know you know what you know what you do when it seems like everything's falling apart you look to the one who can put it all back together the enemy works in deception he works in lies he works in smokes and mirrors he works against your mind you know what it's fear is false evidence appearing real and so I looked up to see uh, you know what the what the enemy was doing what I've learned listen what I've learned is many times right but right when you feel like uh, right when you feel it, it's always darkest before the light so I, I've decided in my heart and I've perceived by the spirit uh, that the enemy is extremely angry he's mad at me and he's mad at you but you know what uh, I, I, I just feel it's done it's done so I'm thanking him for the building I'm thanking him for the money to renovate it I'm just thanking him I'm thanking because there's there's been a breakthrough in my spirit regarding this I'm not uh, I, I, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, I'm not falling for the all the 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 mat the, the radical resistance uh, it's just now here's the thing let me just say this the enemy always overplays his hand always the enemy always overplays his hand. Sometimes you're getting radical resistance. There comes a tipping point by which you just begin to laugh and say, this is ridiculous. This is r radically ridiculous radically ridiculous and you begin to laugh and once the enemy overplays his hand it's like okay all right i see you i get it you, you might have thought you had me in the corner but you know I, I see you and once i see you i can defeat you so here's the thing if you want to sew into the building if you want to sew into the tv show if you want to sew into the equipping if you want to sew into taking prayer to the nations if you want to sew, i'm encouraging you to sew you know that right now i need you to sew more than ever if you feel led then sew if you don't feel led then don't sow. If you want to pray, pray. If you don't want to pray, don't pray. If you want to share the Mega Payback campaign, share it. If you don't want to share it, don't share it. But here, God's going to do it anyway. Because my, I don't depend on the arm of flesh. I depend on the power of God. But I do know that the Lord does want to use people to partner with me to help me bring His vision, not my vision, His vision, to see poor people fed, to see children equipped, and to see adults come into their destiny who have been left aside and not believed believed in by their former, you know, family members and maybe even pastors. Praise God. I'm asking you for your help to see God's vision come to pass, but I know that if you don't do it, he'll do it some other way. I've shifted. I've shifted my thoughts on all this. So I'm asking you for your help. Go so. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. Sow into what you want to sow, and your seeds are designated. Your seeds are if you if you don't designate them, they're not they go into a general fund. But if you designate your seed, that's where your seed goes. Amen. That's where it goes. If you wanted to go for the building, put in there that you wanted to go for the building. If you wanted to go to the TV show, put that you wanted to go to the TV show. If you wanted to go to missions, put that you wanted to go to missions. De whatever whatever you want to do, or don't do anything. God's going to do it. But I want you to get in on the blessing because when this radical uh, breakthrough happens when it manifests in the natural on this building that the, the, a lot of people who are stand listen a lot of people who are standing against me a lot of men in ministry who want to see me fall on my face especially in south florida a lot of people a lot of my enemies who have cursed me in the past because i've taken a strong stand for righteousness and holiness in the prophetic and they want to see me fall and there it's called vindication it's called mega radical vindication and many of you are believing for vindication in your life so a vindication seed today so I've indicated because listen I'm going to tell you right now I'm getting it it's mine it belongs to me I should not say just me it's us it's our ministry and ministry belongs to nobody but God but this is being delivered into my hands I'm declaring this it's it's it's, it's been it's already been, been delivered in my hands in the spirit I'm just pulling it down in the natural praise God you can't redesignate what you gave already sweetheart it's it's done we can't go back in our records it would take us too long to do that um you know, it's it's that's that's putting too much of a burden on us at a time when we're using every resource we have to uh, advance God's God. I'm sorry about that. Just just uh, you know, it's, it's whatever it was. Unless it was hundred thousand dollars, it won't make that much of a difference. You can redesignate it in your heart to God and say, God, I sowed it here, but I would like to I, I would like it to be planted in this other place, and God will honor that. We stand with you in that. Okay. All right. Okay. Megapayback.com. Really, you know, megapayback.com. Yes, it goes to the building. Um, you can also just send a seed to paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. And in the PayPal, you can say mega, mega, uh, you know, mega vision. Here's the thing. Some people internationally, the mega payback site doesn't work for them. Uh, sometimes PayPal is the easiest way for them. So PayPal lets you put a note, lets you put a note. 
it lets you put a note and designate it. So if you want to designate your fund, you can do that. Go to paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Or if you just want to go to megapayback.com, you know, there's we've put in, uh, uh, we're so back, so back incentives into your life. So if you donate $10,000, you're going to get lifetime access to Ignite. You're going to get, you know, uh, lifetime access to my three schools I've got going on and some other things. So, you know, if you sow $5,000, you get certain things. So why? Because we want to sow back into you. All that's at megapayback.com 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 if you want to get tap into those incentives you got to go to megapayback.com and then you got to forward our receipt and tell, some people don't want the incentive they just want to sow to that that's fine you don't have to take anything from us some people are averse to receiving when they're giving they they want to receive from god not from man they don't want an incentive from a ministry they want they want uh, the the payback directly from god so whatever you want to do do it if you don't want to do it don't do it megapayback.com is where you can read more about our vision you can read more about the facility or you can sew at paypal.me slash jennifer leclaire paypal.me slash jennifer leclaire you can also do text to give 754-701-2161 you type the word pray p-r-a-y Amen. So do that. So this is this is it. The building belongs to me. Belongs to us. It belongs belongs to God. Belongs to our ministry. I'm telling you, it's, it, things have shifted. It, you know, I, I want you to have confidence. Things are going to shift. Whatever you're battling, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're 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 you know kind of freaking out over, if I can put it that way, just just, just keep praying till you get a breakthrough in your spirit. Just keep praying. Just keep praying. Whatever resistance, whatever radical resistance coming against you, just keep praying. Even if your voice is hoarse because you're praying to God, let your voice grow hoarse. God will heal your voice. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, the devil is in him, huh? Well, he's. we bless him and we release him in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to remind you I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to do uh, 21 days of spiritual warfare, uh, 21 days of your spiritual warfare battle plan. I'm going to be doing some short Facebook lives starting today. 21 days of your spiritual warfare battle plan on Facebook Live. I want to remind, I want to teach you how to develop your own battle plan. Uh, this is in line with my book, Praise God. So I'll be giving you uh, some nuggets out of my book, 21 days of your uh, your uh, your spiritual warfare battle plan. We're also having a special event, a book launch party. I'm I'm enticing you to come. Uh, I'm encouraging you to come. I'm asking you to come sign up. You can watch it online. It's going to be Sunday at 5 p.m. Everyone who, listen, everyone who registers for the event, everyone who registers will get a coupon code to buy the book. Ten people will get a free book. The ten people that get the free book is going to be the person that shared the event the most. So if you have not registered and you're not sharing, honey, you're falling behind. Go register for the event. You'll get a discount code on Tuesday. Uh, I, I don't know when the discount code. It'll, it'll, the Tuesday will be the latest it will go out. I've got to get my IT guy to, to, to put that in there. Uh, you'll get a discount code, praise God. Uh, and ten people, the people that share the most. We know who's sharing. So do this. Go register. It's at jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. You'll see our different events there. We've got a mega payback event coming up. We've got a Jezebel event coming up. Uh, we've got all kinds of events going on as led by the Spirit. Uh, praise God. Uh, praise God. Praise God. Uh, praise God. So do that. Go sign up and begin to share it. Say, come to Jennifer. Jennifer Jennifer's going to teach you. Uh, tell them that. She's going to teach you spiritual warfare stuff. Uh, she knows how to fight. Tell them. You know, you're, you get a chance to win a free book. Uh, you get a chance to uh, get, uh, get, you definitely get a discount on the book. And I'm going to do spiritual warfare prayer over you. So go get registered now. I think we've got hundreds and hundreds. I want to see a thousand people register for this. Please go do that. That's one way you can help me, even with the building fund, because every book that I sell it's like two bucks so every every little bit helps right now so do that do that do that go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com see what other events we have also visit ahop.tv see what events we have amen there's a lot of stuff that's going on in our ministry we're reaching the nations with the truth of the gospel and we're going to see uh, many people uh, in this uh, spiritual warfare series this 21 days if you're not following my fate on Facebook go to facebook.com slash Jennifer Leclair and follow me on Facebook Facebook. You can also join the Ignite Network. I know more and more people are joining all the time. We're doing our uh, State of the Network address uh, November. I think it's November the 18th. I forget. I keep forgetting the dates. Uh, I can't manage my own calendar. I need the Holy Spirit to help me. Praise God. So you're going to want, if you're if you're interested in joining Ignite, if you're not already joined and you want to hear more about it, you want to hear the vision for 2018, or if you're a member of Ignite, you're going to want to make sure you watch this. It's going to be 
it's going to be live streamed. It's going to be live. If you're in South Florida, you can come in person, but it's going to be live streamed. And so you'll be able to watch it. Even if you can't watch it live, you can watch it later. So we're going to get that up for you. And, uh, and, and all of you igniters, I posted it in the ignite group. I think yesterday, uh, please begin to share that, begin to share it, begin to say, this is my tribe. This is my family. And, and with great things have happened. November's our anniversary. Great things have happened. I've grown, begin to testify, begin to testify and then begin to, uh, uh, begin to share about the network address so that people can find out more about what we're doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I think those are all my main announcements. You can still get in on Warfare School. We're getting testimonies already out of Warfare School. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. It already is good. It's great. It's getting better. Uh, the first lesson we did was know your enemy. The second lesson we did was know your authority. And these were baseline foundations so that we could continue to uh, build on that. So remember the 21 days I'm going to be doing teachings from my book starting today. Get in on that. I want to teach you now something from uh, from the Bible uh, just uh, uh, quickly. We're going to go back into prayer and back into worship. Uh, I want you to... Uh, to uh, to see here something that uh, I just love this story. I just love this account in the Bible. The Lord showed me, gave me a word, a prophetic word, and then he uh, he began to show me in the Bible uh, some things. Now I've got to find it. Where did I put it? Help me, Jesus. All right, I scribble on pieces of paper, and then I can't find them, praise God, but I found it. Here, let me sit down and teach. For just a minute, this is going to encourage you. This is really going to encourage you. Listen, here's what the Lord showed me. Some of you have been falsely accused while doing the will of your father. The Lord says the motives of your heart have been misunderstood and sorely judged by those who should have supported you. But I see your heart, says God, and my opinion is all that matters. So don't allow those jealous spirits to sway you from doing my will. Your radical obedience moves my heart. Praise God. That's a good word. Now let me share something with you here uh, from the Bible. Let me teach you for a minute. You remember in 1 Samuel 17 when, uh, when, uh, when the Philistine uh, giant Goliath came out against the armies of Israel. And he stood before them and said, send somebody to fight with me. And if you win, we'll be your servants. And if I win, you'll be our servants. Well, the, Philist the, the Israel, Israel army was, uh, was just absolutely uh, terrified. They were trembling and they were in terror. And Jesse sent David, uh, his son, to the battle line. He said, take your brothers some food. Take the captain of the thousand some cheese. Uh, go find out how your brothers are doing and come back to me. So here we, we find David fearless. He just ran, he just ran uh, to the battle line here with, with this food to find out who was, but he did this in, in obedience to the will of his father. He, he, he was following the instruction of his father. He ran into a dangerous situation because his father sent him. The Bible says that he rose up early in the morning and left the flock with the keeper and took the food. And so when he shows up, it, it's just, just picture this. I stood in the valley uh, where, uh, where David uh, slew Goliath and I gathered five smooth stones uh, from there in Israel. I stood in the very place that, uh, that uh, David slew Goliath. Boy, it was something else. Uh, when David came to the camp, uh, he saw that, that, the, that, the, that the Philistines uh, were lined up against Israel and, uh, and Goliath was, you know, was, 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 you know, sort of cursing Israel saying, you know, here I am, send somebody to fight me. And again, they were very afraid. And, and what happened was David David overheard that there was a promise attached to the victory. Listen to me. There's always a promise attached to your to your victory. In other words, the, the, the enemy is resisting the promise of God for your life. That's what the battle's over. It's over the word of the Lord to you. That's what is, listen, that's what is ultimately over. The, the battle is not really even against you, your flesh and blood. The battle is against the will of God manifesting, the glory of God manifesting, the victory of God manifesting in your life. So David heard a promise. David heard a promise. He heard a promise. He heard a promise. The one who defeats this Goliath would get Saul's daughter in marriage. Their family would no longer have to have, have to pay taxes and they would be blessed with riches. And David's like, well, hold on a minute. Who is this Goliath? You know, I can stand against him. And the, look at these great and precious promises that are being uh, offered to me. And so David kept, he kept, he asked them to repeat it. What is the promise? You want to make sure he heard this right. What is the promise? You know, when God speaks to you, sometimes you've got to repeat the promise uh, to yourself. And so he decided 
decided, look, you know what? I, he, 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 was, he was building faith up in his heart. And that's when the people that should have stood with him stood against him. Eliab, his eldest brother, 1 Samuel 17, verse 28. Remember now, his brothers had, had seen him anointed. They were all rejected by the Lord to be the next king. But they saw that, uh, that David was anointed to be king by Samuel. And they were jealous of him because they knew of the destiny that was on his life. And they should have been supporting him. They should have been cheering him on. They should have been happy. But Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spoke to the men. And Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, why have you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? See, trying to make David feel insignificant. He said, I know your pride and the evil of your heart. Heart. Wait a second. He, give me a break. You know his pride and the evil. He was following the will of his father. He was being obedient to Jesse. He went to the middle of the dangerous place just so he could see how his brothers were doing and bring them food. The motive of his heart was radical obedience. The motive of his heart was to help somebody. Praise God. David said, what have I done now? Was it not only a word? What have I done now? See, that's what, you, what lets you know that his brothers had been persecuting him for a long time. What have I done now? What is it this time? Why are, you, why are you against me now? And he turned from him toward another and spoke the same way. See, when David was persecuted by his brothers, when those jealous spirits in his brothers came against him, three of them were at the battle line, he turned away from them. He said, what did I do now? He didn't meditate on it. He didn't cry about it. He didn't whine about it. He, the Bible says he turned from them toward another and spoke the same way he wanted to hear the promise again he wanted to hear the promise again the people repeated the promise to him again and when the words which david spoke were heard they reported them to saul and sent for him david said to saul listen david said to saul this is radical courage david said to saul let no man's heart fail him be, let no man's heart fail because of him your servant will go and fight with the philistine and saul said to david listen here's another one saul should have stood with david Saul should have stood with David. David was the one who played the, the lyre, the L-Y-R-E, the, the, the harp, and, and chased away the evil spirits from Saul. David was the one who had served Saul and helped him when evil spirits were tormenting him. He should have understood the anointing on David's life. He should have embraced the anointing on David's life. But instead, Saul said to David, you're not able. You're not able. You're not able. You're not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him. For you are but a youth, and he has been a man from, of war from his youth. You're not able. And that's what sometimes people, they see there's an anointing on your life. You've helped them sometimes. You've encouraged them. You've fought devils with them. But you're about to advance into your next level. You're about to rise up in a radical way. And they tell you, you're not able. You're not able. Give me a break. David said to Saul, your servant was a shepherd for my father's flock. And the lion came and the bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and struck him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I took hold of his beard and struck him and killed him. He told Saul, your servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be as one of them because he has reviled the armies of the living God. Praise God. David said, the Lord, listen, David said, the Lord who delivered me out of the paw of the lion and, the, and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Whatever it is you're going through, whatever giant is trying to intimidate you, whatever jealous spirits are trying to tell you that your heart wrote motive are wrong, whatever Saul spirits or jealous spirits are trying to tell you that you can't fight and you can't win. God is going to deliver you out of their hands and out of the hand of the Goliath. I'm telling you, the great deliverance is coming to you when you, disturb, when, you, uh, when you display radical courage. That's the key. Radical faith, radical courage. That's how you're going to win. That's how you're going to win. That's how you're going to win. And David and, and Saul said, go and, go and the Lord be with you. So Saul clothed David with his armor and he put a helmet of bronze on his head and he clothed him with a coat of mail. Verse 38, David, D David secured his sword to his armor and tried to walk, but he was not used to it for he had not tested them. See, Saul wanted David to fight his way. Saul wanted David to fight. He said, okay, if you're going to fight, you're going to do it my way. That way I can tell everybody I gave David the battle plan. I gave David the battle strategy. I gave David the weapons of voice because of my sharp sword that David won. Saul was just looking for a way to take credit for David's victory, to be able to say, I counseled him. I gave him the equipment. It was because my armor and my armor was anointed. It was my anointing that, you know, Saul, he just wanted to, he just wanted to, he just wanted to take some kind of credit for it. David said, I can't, I can't do this your way. I've got to do it God's way. I've got to do it with the revelation of God's deliverance in my life. 
And David said to Saul, I can't walk on these, for I've not tested them. And he put, he, he ch listen, he took his staff in his hand, and he chose for himself five smooth stones out of the brook. And he put them in his shepherd's bag, even in a pouch. And his sling was in his hand. Then he drew near to the Philistine. And, and I'm, I'm for sake of time, I'm going to just uh, just skip ahead. We know that the Philistine prophesied to him. Goliath prophesied to him, I'm going to have your head. David prophesied back to the Goliath. you got to prophesy back to the fear in your life. you got to prophesy back to the demons in your life who are prophesying to you. So David ran to the battle line to meet Goliath. He put his hand in his bag and he took from there a stone. And he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead. Therefore the stone sunk in his forehead and he fell upon his face to the ground. Now here's the thing. What does a rock represent? What is a rock? A rock is, 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 the, revelation, is the revelation that God gives you. That rock, that smooth stone that David slung, it was the revelation of God as his deliverer. It was the revelation of God as his as, as his as his champion. It was the it was he Goliath was the champion of the Philistines, but Jehovah was the champion of David. And he understood he had a revelation. He had a revelation. He had a revelation that he would 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 win because he was God was on his side. And so he but it wasn't the revelation that killed him, it was the revelation that knocked Goliath out. David went with the sword of the spirit. He went with the sword and cut off his head. So it's the revelation, listen, it's the revelation of God as your deliverer that will knock the devil down. But it's the sword of the spirit, the word of God coming out of your mouth that will deal the death blow. Amen? That's a radical revelation. Get it, get it, fight with it, war with it. It was a revelation of God that caused the victory. So let me read this prophetic word to you again. And I'm going to then pray for you. So the Lord says, some of you have been falsely accused while doing the will of your father. The motives of your heart have been misunderstood and sorely judged by those who should have supported you. But I see your heart and my opinion is all that matters. So don't allow these jealous spirits to sway you from doing my will. Your radical obedience moves my heart. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Praise God, that'll preach. That was your that was your that was your teaching for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Father, I thank you for the revelation of your deliverance. I thank you for the revelation of your champion championhood in our life, your kingship in our life, your leadership in our life. When we follow you, we'll always win. When we follow you, we'll always have victory. When we follow you, we'll, we, we, it doesn't mean we're not gonna have trial and tribulation, but it means we're gonna have triumph. So I pray over all those under the sound of my voice and I thank you Lord for your radical blessings for your radical courage to manifest in our life for the radical revelation of a radical God who stands by us through thick and thin you will never leave us or forsake us even to the end of the age so I thank you Lord for the opportunity to stand and, and, and stand on your word stand and withstand in the evil day because you are able to make us stand and I thank you Lord we pray and bless those who have misjudged our hearts misjudged our motives misjudged us been jealous of us tried to stop us from what you've told us to do try to take credit for things that uh, you told us to do that we did in your strength because only you get the glory we don't get the glory Saul doesn't get the glory Eliab doesn't get the glory you get the glory and we give you all the glory in Jesus name amen and amen now pray with me for for radical favor over the building as we seek to get in front of some high net worth individuals who have the ability to, to just completely uh, uh, donate uh, large sums that would completely pay off this building now please let's agree for radical favor and as we pray for radical favor over this building and over this vision we're praying for radical favor over your life and over your vision too because you all have a vision for your life amen if you're not you need to get one so you give God something to bless so that you move toward what he's called you to in Jesus name father we thank you now in the name of Jesus for radical favor with these large donors God radical favor with large donors who of whom we know and large donors whom we don't funders God funders of every kind of imaginable God I thank you Lord for flinging wide the doors in Jesus name for ordering our steps to those who have the means to supply the vision that you've given to us God I thank you for crazy favor for million dollar donations just to come unto us just just like that I thank you Lord for crazy radical favor with everyone who has the ability to give Lord move on their hearts to do what you've uh, called uh, them to do in the area of giving because you have a, a mega radical blessing in store for them when they partner there's a there's a very I, I can see it there's a very wealthy person right now you're probably not on this broadcast I'm just speaking this out into the atmosphere because when we speak words things happen it frames our world there's a very wealthy person that's having 
having, uh, I mean, very wealthy, not just like, okay, you're well off. I mean, uber wealthy. They're having some issues with the IRS. I saw this, you know, some months ago. Actually, you know what? This is called from because I saw this three, four months ago, and I said something very similar. Uh, there's an Uber. They're having some issues with their they're unjust. The, 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 the IRS is just harassing them. Uh, somebody, uh, somebody, here's what happened. Somebody tipped off the IRS that they were, uh, d that they were doing something wrong, but they weren't doing something wrong. Uh, that person, if they sow a, a mega seed into this, they're going to get mega vindication. I see that. I know that it's probably no one listening on this call. I'm not saying it for you or to move you or to sway you. I'm speaking this into the atmosphere. Uh, I thank you, Lord, that you get, you ordered that person to us so that they might be blessed even more so than us. And I break and bind that assignment against them in Jesus name. I thank you Lord for radical doors, radical doors, radical doors of opportunity to open to you radical uh, breakthrough in your finances. I thank you Lord that you'll prick the hearts of those who are supposed to help all of us in whatever way we need help. And you would cause them to, to be an encouragement, to be, be a giver of kind words, to be a giver of financial resources, to be a giver of helps whatever it is we need. We stand together and we say this building belongs to us. Nothing shall by any means hinder it. It belongs to us. It's in our hands even now. I thank you for the victory, for the assurance of the victory, for faith is the title deed. Faith is the title deed. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And the Amplified Bible says it's the title deed. Faith is the title deed. And so our faith has secured for us what you've promised us, God. And we stand together in Jesus' name. Remember, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire if you want to give. If you don't, just pray for us. And you can also share our thunderclap campaign uh, this will send out a message all at once on the same day uh, to, to hundreds of thousands of people if you lend your social media voice to it it doesn't cost you anything it's just real easy for you to do just go to tinyurl.com slash mega payback and just support us with your facebook support us with your twitter support us with your tumblr it's real easy it's a super easy thing it takes two seconds literally all you got to do is be signed into facebook and click and that will send out a mega blast uh, in just a few weeks, it's going to sign out a sign out a mega blast. It's going to let everybody know about our vision to change the world one person at a time through equipping, encouraging, and inspiring. In Jesus' name, praise God. Thunderclap. Dot, yeah, Thunderclap. Dot it. Our campaign is there at tinyurl. Dot, dot, uh, dot, dot mega payback. You can find it there. Uh, so if you can pray, and you you can all pray, and you can all do the mega the the thunderclap. So please go do that. Listen, we're going to go back into worship. If you want to join my prayer army, go to uh, uh, PrayForJennifer.com. We've got, I don't know, 12, 1,300 people here. I'm shooting for 5,000. I haven't mentioned it in a while. Uh, but many of you are praying for me uh, on this broadcast. You can go get more formal instructions on how to pray at uh, PrayForJennifer.com. Sign up there in Jesus' name. Listen, I love you guys. Let's go back into worship. We ran a little long today, but the teaching, uh, it was worth it. It was worth it. So I bless you on your day, and we'll be back with you later with the spiritual warfare uh, at the spiritual warfare, uh, the 21 days of your, your spiritual warfare battle plan. Amen. All right. Bless you.